Right, hello and welcome, and today I'm just going to do a quick um, tutorial on how to test a capacitor for leakage um, simply by using an LED and a variable, well I'm using a variable power supply, um, you could actually just use some batteries in series. Okay, so this is the basic circuit um, that I've got set up for this test and we're going to have um, the, the voltage here, we, here we have the uh, capacitor and an LED and that's all it is, a very simple circuit and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed in uh, steps of 3 volts, so I'm going to go start with 3 volts then 6 volts and 9 volts because th this is a, um, a 3 volt LED um, so any more than that you'll, you'll probably burn out the LED and so what should happen is we should we should feed in the first three volts and then when the capacitor is charged up to the three volts and um, the current should stop flowing through the circuit and the LED should go out and then after that we'll, we'll up the voltage to six volts uh, which means we've already got three volts in there so that should only let three volts run through and the LED will light and then once this is charged up to six volts the LED should uh, go out again as the capacitor blocks the current from flowing through Okay, so this is the, the circuit, it's simply just a, an LED and uh, this is the positive coming in and this is the negative going out and um, yeah, that's basically it really um, but just for the purpose of this test I'm going to be feeding it through a um, multimeter so you can actually see the current as it flows through So uh, this is the capacitor we'll be testing um, this is a known good capacitor and it's um, 200, uh, 2200 microfarads and 16 volts and we'll just connect it into the circuit make sure you get the um, polarities of the capacitor the right way around and we'll, we'll start off by just putting in um, 3 volts and uh, we should see the LED light and, oh, on. and we should see some current flow there, it just goes on for a brief second, and that's now charged up to 3 volts, and so now we'll increase it to, say, 6 volts, and then it lights, goes out, and we get current flowing, and it slowly get a little bit of residual current flowing, but it does eventually fade away, and just keep increasing the voltage in 3 volt steps. And you can see each time the LED does distinguish. And to 12 volts now. So what I was doing there was just turning it on and off to show you that you can actually do it in individual 3 volt steps but you can't because I've got a variable power supply I can just very slowly just keep increasing it and you'll see the LED pulses as we increase the voltage and then when it um, when the capacitor charges up it, it blocks the flow of current so it stops it flowing and we'll keep going up to 16 volts Bit over and so there we are, 16 volts, and we can see there's uh, bugger all current flowing through there. So, and the LED is not lit, so we can see that this is a good capacitor. Okay. And uh, now it's very, very important that um, uh, you discharge your capacitors, and careful not to touch them. As you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, energy stored in there. Okay, so now we'll um, just put that back down to 3 volts so we don't blow the bulb up by forgetting to reset it. Now this is um, uh, a capacitor, um, I think I got this out of a monitor, and I don't know if you can see there, but it's just, just slightly bulging at the top there. And this is a uh, 1000 microfarad uh, 16 volt capacitor, and I think th this one is bad, I believe. Up 
there. Um, start with three volts, nothing. Slowly increasing the voltage up to six volts. Still looks okay. Oh no, eight volts. And still looks okay. Okay, now we're at 10 volts, and we can see that the LED is still, I don't know if you can see that, I can see it's still illuminated, and you can see there's um, quite a bit of current flowing through there. So that is a bad capacitor, you can see it's leaking quite badly, and probably if we took it up to its rated voltage, we're not even up to there, 11 volts, and you can see it's in, there's a lot of current leaking through that one. That's a bad capacitor. Um, let's discharge that. Okay. And now, um, this is another bad. Well, this is one I thought was a bad capacitor because um, when I removed it, there was lots of the um, electrolytic. It looked like uh, it was leaking out of the top. There's some orange kind of gunk coming out of the top there. I don't know if you can see that. And this is a um, this is this another thousand microfarad. Uh, this is a twenty-five volt capacitor. So let's try this one. Let's start down at three volts again. You can see it light briefly there, and now I'll just slowly. Turn up the voltage and you can just see it pulsing. Up to 12 volts. That still looks good. Come up to 20 volts now. Yeah, still looks good. Take it right up to its uh, rated 25 voltage, uh, 25 volts. See if it's okay. There we are 25 volts. And yeah, that looks fine. Uh, there's no illumination on the LED, and the uh, current flown is uh, bugger on. Okay, so that looks like it's a um, pretty good capacitor, even though it's got all the electrolytic, uh, or some, some sort of electrolytic leaking out, I think. And always remember to discharge capacitors. Mm. Nice. Okay, so we'll just test this uh, last one. Uh, this is another another bad one, I think. Um, this is a thousand microfarads, uh, 16 volts, and uh, you can see it's just very slightly bulging at the top there. Put this up, making sure we get it round the right way. Remember to turn the voltage back down to three volts. There we go. Three volts seems okay. Let me turn it up. And right, well, well, look. Put four volts, and it's already. You can see the the LEDs are already illuminated. There's quite a bit of current still leaking through there. So nowhere near the uh, 16 volts uh, rated for the capacitor. And at five volts, it's pretty much well lit. Or oh, it's taking its time. It's slowly going down. Pick it up a bit more. You can see that's a terribly leaky capacitor. Alright, okay, so I hope that helped you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.